J. Jerry. And here's a story for the fans of the late great Unsolved Mysteries and maybe even of Ghostbusters. So join us as we go in search of Jim Morrison's ghost. Well, this photograph was taken in 1997 at the French Cemetery where Doors frontman Jim Morrison is supposedly buried. Well, it features a ghostly apparition that appears to be Jim Morrison himself. Are you with us? We may lose you here. The photo has been deemed, get this, authentic. The United Kingdom's Daily Express reports that the snapshot shows rock historian Brett Meisner standing next to Morrison's grave at the Pierre Lachaise Cemetery. And in the background, there's a white figure with his arms seemingly outstretched. Apparently, Morrison did, in fact, break on through to the other side. I was at Jim's grave in, uh, in Paris and I decided, you know, I'll take a photograph. There's a lot of crowds there and I asked one of them to snap a picture and thought nothing of it. Brought it back. Years later, my assistant pointed out to my right as you're looking at it, you see something there. It is the image of a man who appears to be wearing, wearing pants, perhaps leather pants. It surprised me. I, you know. I got goosebumps when I, when I relate, when it sank in as to what I was looking at. I'm not scared by anything. This photo made me think twice. Get this. The ghostly image went unnoticed by Meisner for almost five years until the year 2002, when he spotted the strange blur and had the photo analyzed. In a book called Ghosts Caught on Film 2, Photographs of the Unexplained, researchers say the photo was in no way manipulated, and they also rule out any possibility that it was merely a trick of the light. The image itself is unexplainable, researchers said. Meisner also gained some celebrity when a British film crew from the show Dead Famous flew to Los Angeles bringing along paranormal expert Chris Fleming, who stated that the photo was, as he put it, one of the best I've ever seen. You know, Brett, I've seen actually a lot of photographs before mm -hmm. of ghosts and sure. stuff like that, and I've got to tell you, this is pretty good. Meisner said that he regrets going to the Pierre Lachaise Cemetery because he's been plagued by eerie events ever since. Meisner tells the Daily Express that his marriage broke down, and a close friend died of a drug overdose, and now he's haunted by people who approach him to say that Morrison's ghost is haunting them. At first, it was sort of interesting to see how many people felt a spiritual bond with Jim Morrison in the photo. But now the whole vibe seems negative, Meisner said. Now, Meisner also claimed a spiritual advisor and a close personal friend told him that they believe the photograph has come with a curse. His friend told Meisner he needs to have some sort of closure with the photograph and part ways with it. Meisner regrets the attention the photograph has given him, as well as a string of bad luck, revealing, part of me wishes that I would have never stepped foot in the graveyard in the first place. While I know I'm also partly to blame for talking about it in the first place, I should have kept it to myself and not let the media have a field day with something so special and private. Now, Meisner was trying to find a private organization to donate the photo to, but so far, he's had no luck. As anyone who read one of the many books on Morrison or saw Oliver Stone's The Doors movie would tell you, Morrison believed he encountered the ghost of a Native American after witnessing a car accident in his youth in an accident that deeply impacted the singer. In fact, the lyrics to Peace Frog 
features the lines, Indians scattered on dawn's highway bleeding. Ghosts crowd the young child's fragile eggshell mine. Uh, a truckload of Navajo Indians hit head on with another truck and uh, a young Jim Morrison, five or six years old, was passing by and saw this terrible accident. And in that transformation, in seeing that, Jim said his life was ever changed. He felt from that day forward, the spirit of the Indian had become one with Jim's spirit. Jim's whole career, his whole his life was all about spirituality, driven by an incident that happened to him when he was a young child. This was Jim Morrison's account of the traumatic event that he witnessed. So, it is fitting that nearly three decades after his reported death, Morrison would appear as a specter in a photograph. Okay, there is absolutely no way to prove whether Morrison's ghost is actually traipsing around his gravesite, but we predict the Lizard King's resting place is about to get a lot more visitors in the next few months because it is one of the most visited landmarks in all of Paris. This is DJ Jerry reminding you to keep on listening to The Doors and also to keep on rocking. Bye now. Right